Hi everyone, we are heading towards the forest right now to pick the mushroom. Hopefully, we will find some. Right. And this is the crew. Here you go, Taylor. Taylor, the big guy. And I'm going with Taylor because Taylor is a mushroom specialist, Whoa! expert, mushroom expert here. So let's see if we can grab any mushrooms. It's dark inside. And if anyone get lost, that is the plan that will head towards the highway. Yeah, it's more like highway or my way. <laughs> this is the forest. Look how dark it is. Have a look. Oh, we need a stick to pick it. Yeah, so okay. this is the way how you do it. Chef Scott is showing us how to do it. So let's see. I'm gonna go do my job now. Sorry. Okay. So we found one mushroom here, and Mr. Taylor is going to pick it up. So this is the one. Very nice and perfect mushroom. That's how you pick it. Okay. He's cutting it through. Yeah. And that's what you get when you come to a forest to pick a mushroom. I found a bigger one there, guys. Here you go. Hey, <laughs> here's the mushroom, guys. See, lucky me. Nobody saw it. <laughs> and somebody scratched the ground and left it, man. <laughs> one. Guys, check this one. How good it is! Wow! So this is our second lookout. We are heading towards the middle of this forest. Let's see if we can find more mushrooms or not. We'll surprise you today with full of mushrooms. This is a big forest here. Chef, what was the name of this forest? Penrose. Yeah, Penrose Forest. Come here for mushroom picking. Pick some mushroom. Save some money. Found an interesting mushroom here. It is very different kind of mushroom, but we are not picking it if we don't know what kind of mushroom it is. So this is the one here. We found another mushroom here. This is only devil. This is another mushroom. I found another mushroom here. This took a bit different mushroom than I have saw so far. It is a very nice decent mushroom though. I can't take it because I don't know if we can eat it or not. We found a couple of big mushrooms. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get this. You How are. giant they are. Person found this, this guy here. He's sorry, nice. And he found the smallest one as well, so he's the winner. Wow, wow, BJD. Congratulations, congratulations. Great. Successful sir. person. Thank you, sir. Good. Yeah. Yeah, this is a big one. Wow. Yeah, you don't see them, you just get copied. Just... I got a couple of big ones as well, so I'll show you later on once we end up this video. So, guys, we are getting back from the last French speaking, going back to the vehicle. I got a little bit here as well. Gonna clean them up, eat it tonight. I've got some in car as well, so maybe a two kilo of mushroom. It's worth it. So everybody's getting back. It's a nice bit climate. It was raining before. Now it's not raining anymore, so nice to drive. Alright guys, see you on next vlog. Bye. Give one away. Back home from the Kingsbury rest area that's uh, on the highway next to the M31. Uh, we'll visit to Canberra. So basically, that is the highest of the day. I, uh, I picked up around 2 kilo of mushroom, and uh, all of this mushroom is illegal. So we have to be really cautious when we pick the mushroom from the forest because it is wild mushroom. In Australia, there are lots of different mushrooms that are poisonous and may be very dangerous. So we can 
or like once you pick them up it's a little bit of soil or it goes next to the soil so it don't have soil on it and it's covered with the pine so it, there might be some leaves on it so to clean that off you really have to get a big bowl and fill up with the water put this mushroom that you have picked up inside the bowl so once you pick uh, put the mushroom inside the bowl what you need to do is like just wash them properly and we have to add around 2% of vinegar on it to kill it, kill the bacteria on it, uh, to make it uh, germ free. And uh, basically, that, that's only the cleaning procedure. I have already done it. It's better to get a tap, tap water, and when you see the gills around, it's better to pass the water through the gills so all the debris and the soil inside will fall down. So, as you can see now, I'm going to slice a couple of mushrooms and we are cooking a mushroom tonight sorted mushroom and look at this this is how it's supposed to be so to figure out if it if these mushrooms are poisonous or not what are the things that we have to consider guys mushroom picking is a fun and it can be deadly at the same time so a little bit of knowledge here so when you pick up this mushroom you can see all this mushroom looks similar first thing when you go to pick up the pine mushroom don't try to pick other mushroom guys you might pick the deadly mushroom, mix it together, and all of the hard work gonna go to waste. So basically, you what do you need to see when you pick the pine mushroom? So first technique to know if it is pine mushroom or not is there must be orange color from behind. Look at this half. If you bring the camera here, you can see it needs to be orange color all the way around. Orange color, guys. So you see the orange color, yeah, nice and perfect. So the orange color is one of the indicator of its originality, like if it's deadly or not, if it's fine mushroom or not. Another thing that can be considered when picking up this mushroom is it needs to have a hole in between. You can see a nice little hole, not only on this one. If you pick this one, this one have a hole inside as well. See, it's orange color, it does have a hole. And they grow around the place where the pine li pine tree leaves are. So basically, if there's no pine tree leaves at all, don't go to that place. You will not find much. So here, another one is a sad ball. See, most of the things that I picked up have a hole. So if you are not so sure, don't pick it. The best thing to do is not to pick it if you are not so sure. Another one, the small one. So you can get big big up to this see as big as this and as small as this when you keep the pot underneath you can see a little bit of juice kind of thing coming out of it so that is another indication as well so if you figure out those three things and the size of it uh, the looks of it the color then you will be able to uh, pick it up and uh, before you consume it make sure you wash it properly because it grows next to the soil it's wild and uh, if it is wild obviously it has lots of bacteria on it lots of animals walking around so you need to wash it with the vinegar to make sure you get rid of all that germs and bacteria Cooking wise, you can cook it as you like. You can make a stew out of it. You can make a, you can saute it. You can. Uh, so uh, another thing I have to tell you: once you wash it, this is the thing that strain the water. So you put it on the strainer, let the water strain before you slice it. Another thing I have to really tell you guys is: these mushrooms are really healthy if you just uh, pick the right mushroom and eat them because this is. This will detox your body, this is antioxidant, those people have cholesterol, heart disease, cancer, it's, it's just like it's, uh, it helps to cure some type of cancer as well. So um, basically those people who have a cholesterol and heart disease, or they are following the diet, this is very good mushroom to have, it, it, it has low carb on it, so those people who are on diet, those people who have cholesterol, 
who, who, who wants to eat healthy food, who want to detox their body, who really want uh, more antioxidant on their body, you really need to consume this uh, mushroom. You can even buy this mushroom in market, and though they are really a little bit expensive than the rest of the mushrooms, it's around 20 to 30 dollar on the market during the season. Uh, so uh, it, it's available on market as well. Like if you go to market, wild mushroom uh, market, you can find uh, these mushrooms over there. I'll put the description about the location where you can find the mushroom. Uh, so you guys can go enjoy the uh, trekking and the mushroom picking at the same time. It is a big forest, but make sure when you uh, get into the forest, don't get lost. It's a big forest. So basically, how to get out of the forest is uh, you need to you need to listen to the highway uh, cars vehicles noise so you follow the vehicles noise and when you follow the vehicles noise it's easy to come out of the forest because uh, once you get into you get into the highway you figure out how to get back to the car park zone so the good thing about that uh, car park zone is they have a restroom here there is a little bit uh, spot where you can get a sale as well you can park your car here, take some way. Mushroom like maybe some hops. They give it nice good texture, flavor, nice seasoning, salt, pepper. I'm not going to eat anything else. So I just want to try this mushroom. It is natural taste. Don't overpower it with the spices. Let it have its own taste. This mushroom is very native in Australia rather than other mushrooms. Hope you guys are enjoying my video. You are enjoying and getting some information about native Australian wild mushroom please like and subscribe this channel I will keep posting more videos and uh, uh, more information about new things and how to cook things as well if you do enjoy please like and subscribe our channel we really need to grow up if you guys support us we will keep updating new content